It's not really a water feature, but it is for him. How cool is that? Check him out. He comes every day. Addition, attachment, extended play, whatever you guys want to call it. This is the disco version on Friday mornings at Jekyll Bates Workshop. Welcome. These are 12 little gems going out to Kenny Lanehart. And just to give you guys a, a quick rundown of the way I've been doing it, when I get ready to spray the order and cure it, I pull the ticket and I print the shipping label, just so you know. Because I do get questions like, hey, I saw that you printed my shipping label. Yes, I did. So usually when you get that exciting little announcement in your email, that means that you're very close to being shipped. Um, so this is going out to Kenny, and then I've got a few other pieces to show you and some other projects in the works. A couple of these. Um, that's going to be fun. I don't know that I'm going to get a chance to do that on camera because I've got a lot of other stuff planned and scheduled already to upload. So we'll see how that goes. But let's start with these now. Also, the other reason that I needed to talk to you guys this morning is that I'm going to be doing a couple of things. There are some back-ordered bulks that, because um, I have, I carry the circuit board lips, but lately um, me and my customers have really been digging this harder bait on the wake. So I am back ordered on all of my wakes right now. I'm waiting for another shipment to come in. It, it's a, probably a couple of weeks out. So I need to make adjustments to the website. And while we're talking about the website, the website is going to get a complete update this weekend. So by Monday or Tuesday, you guys should see some new patterns on there. You might not see some old patterns. Not that I can't do them anymore, but we'll, uh, we'll direct those to special requests. So that is going to be happening. Got some exciting stuff coming out this fall, some exciting news coming this fall. Um, really, really amped about a lot of things that are happening and starting to fire at Jekyll Bates. Um, that said, I am now at the point in the business where I need to hire somebody to run an office that I can't afford to pay for. <laughs> so if that makes sense. Um, so basically the way Jekyll Bates works, and if you guys don't know this already, most of you that follow the channel do. Um, I am a one-woman show. I am uh, a veteran-owned, woman-owned, small business. I am one of a handful of women in the United States and around the world that actually paint little pieces of plastic for a living. And I love doing it. I absolutely love doing it. I, I know that um, there are several other women out there that are starting to get into this and that ha actually a few that have been doing it for a while now. And it's awesome. It is an awesome community to be a part of the artists out there, um, guys and gals alike. So I just, I need to just take a moment to appreciate everybody that's out there um, that does this because it's, it's not easy to run a business in this market to begin with because it is saturated. It was saturated when I got in. So you have to find your own niche. A lot of that is in unique creativity and doing your own thing. Um, I, I tend to shy away from the people that just steady copy patterns for other people. Uh, I really like doing my own thing. And you guys can see that over the years. Um, you, you won't see me ever copy another artist's patterns. So, and and I, I'm humbled by the people that have taught me along the way. The Ornsteins of the world, the, the Garcias, the Gerald Novicks and Pete Rodents and all of you guys out there that have helped me become who I am through your mentorship and through all of the phenomenal work that you guys put out on a day-to-day -day basis and the encouragement as well. There are few and far between are the, are the haters and the posers and the people that just are going to bitch about anything that you do, uh, regardless of what it is. So um, most, of, most of that just doesn't happen. So the, the message that I try and spread through this channel is positivity. Uh, if you can't do that and figure out a reason to smile, even even in the crazy times that we've been experiencing thus far this year, which appears to be nowhere near over, but um, yeah, you have to find a reason to smile every single day. So that's my little message of love to you guys this morning. 
happy 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 to be here let's talk about these now these patterns are ever evolving and this uh the 12 piece to kenny is uh this is the summer seed just a close-up view on these they'll be hooked and out the door shortly my filming time this morning is somewhere around nine o'clock and normally and <clears throat> for those of you also that don't know my postal carrier or carriers I deal with FedEx and I deal with UPS and I also deal with USPS even the postal carriers and the government will tell you this um, the the mail service the postal service they will pick up at your box all of them do all of them um, so if you have outgoing mail that's a package and you're not sure like if it doesn't fit in your box um, you can leave it at your box if you feel safe enough to do so you can always run stuff up to the post office so if you're trying to figure out logistics of how to ship your product um, that is the, the government has to pick it up so if anybody's telling you that they don't pick up oh, my mail my mailman doesn't pick up that's they, they need to talk to their postal carrier and work out something most of the time you just talk just go up to the guy this driver the girl that's driving the mail truck and say hey I've got this and this and they're pretty understanding about it because they need the work too we all do we should all be grateful for being employed at this point I think this is the common gilly and this is just a typical netting Cool little pattern there and the natural crappie love the tenting on this and this is probably one of my more translucent patterns on wake baits but just because and the cool thing about these is that um, well number one the plastic is is really good um, the lip is really good I like the circuit board lips too I just I've really been digging these and these have got a wicked knock I don't know if you can I'll put this up I'll show you this one and I'll in the good mic when you and I've we've tested these and there's um there's a video a fishing video from earlier this year where I'm riding with Nathan of favorite fishing and CJ and you can hear the knocking as this is coming through the water and it's awesome this these these things are phenomenal wake baits so that is that, and then we have three of these. Also a good sound. I'll show you this one and great sound. And Kenny, just a FYI real quick here, bud, for my audience of one at the moment. I was waiting on the pointer styles, so you get one duo. I hope you can forgive me. But um, if you don't use duos, you might rethink your pointers. Just, just saying. So, also have a little crappie on the LJ. Just plain, 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 plain. And uh, I'll be throwing it. I actually did build this uh, not for any specific person. I'm, I'll either auction it or I'll fish it myself. I normally don't do that. I get a lot of requests and comments on fishing my own stuff. I wish I had the time to build stuff for me I just right now I just don't I wish that I did I would love to show you nothing but me fishing for the rest of my life but unfortunately time time to get on the water I had to cancel with CJ this week um, just because so yeah time time on the water is slim to none for Jenny this year but we will get to a point where and you know it gets really hot and uh, you guys want to see me crankbait fishing anyways and I'm um, usually hot summer days I'm drop shotting I'm finesse fishing I'm doing whatever it takes to catch the fish so these little rapala replicas these are great baits too this is um, one of my favorite as far as cost effective and does it swim and does it work and is it a good bait this is one of the most cost effective jerk bait blanks out there um, as a matter of fact, I was talking to the guy in China that replicates these, one of them. I'm, I don't know if he's the only factory that does it, but um, these are great. So just FYI there. And then this 100 SP. Don't have a name for this color yet. Do not have a name for this color. I love the color. I'm excited about this color. Got that color shifting iridescent purple in it and a pineapple 
real good pearl pineapple. You can hear that. I've got two Labradors on the floor beside me. And one, Molly is, if you hear somebody moaning, it's not a somebody, it's a dog. Molly moans a lot. So if you ever hear that, it's not my chair moving, it's not me doing anything crazy off camera, it's, it's the dog. Promise. And that is all the news that's fit. Yes, this is cool. This is, I want to throw these for walleye. And uh, just to give that shout out, these are stencils from Anarchy Model UK. So Brian Best. Thank you for those. I'm going to get back at it. You guys have a fantastic weekend. Because I'm updating the website this weekend, that is very labor intensive. And it's a lot. I, I don't do the code because GoDaddy does all that stuff. But... It's hundreds of pictures. It's a lot of type and rearranging, and I might do a different template. I like the template that I have now, but I'd like for you guys to kind of see better what the patterns are. Because the thumbnails, I don't know, even on laptops, I don't know that the thumbnails are all that. So we'll, we'll figure it out together. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. TGIF, thank God I fish, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers. And happy casting from Jekyll Bates.